I wanted to ask you is, how many of you know how to handle a dog? How many of you know how to handle a dog without getting bitten? Hmm? How many of you have actually undergone training how to approach a dog? Hmm? And others people's, other people's, how do you plan to keep yourself safe? Like if you see an injured dog, you want to help, right? So how do you help that dog? So the first thing what I tell people is, untrained people should avoid getting into these situations. If you come across a situation where something needs to happen, something needs to be done, get in contact with people who have been trained for this kind of work. Veterinarians are trained, animal handlers are trained, para vets, they are trained for this kind of things. So you take their help, NGOs with especially catching equipments, they are trained. Okay, don't try to approach them yourself. I would like to tell you two, three stories. Okay, stories of people who were real, stories of incidences that were real. I am not going to tell you whether what happened was right or what happened was wrong. I am not going to be judgmental also. I am not going to judge what they did was right or wrong. I want you people to decide and analyze the situation. Okay, so there was one. Uh, one, in, one foreign lady which had come on a vacation to Goa, one 25 to 30 year old, she was a professional of some subject, I think she was from Poland, a 25, 30 year old lady came and she was uh, holidaying in Goa, a lot of foreigners come to Goa, she was also there. She saw a small dog which was injured, it had some wounds, they are all sensitive. She picked up the dog, okay, she didn't know how to handle it, but she, hold it, she held it, took it to the NGO. The NGO took the dog, they didn't ask any questions to the lady, the lady didn't say anything, okay, I'm a tourist, I found it on the road, I gave it, sorry, I have to go. No questions asked, no paperwork done, no contacts taken, no information exchanged. And what happened to the dog, nobody knew. In three months, that lady died of rabies. I, I came across that newspaper article and I felt so sad. I felt so sad and I, I felt so helpless and bad that the only fault of that lady was she was not trained to deal with this kind of situation. She, all she wanted to do was to help. One small article on one newspaper and everyone forgot about it. And the next day the story repeats. Someone finds a dog, someone takes it. They don't know whether they should be worried about getting scratched, getting bitten, what happened to the saliva, why that injury happened, where did it happen. No questions asked and these things are happening. And that is very sad. We are not blaming anybody. But what was the fault of that lady? She was not trained to handle this kind of situation. All she wanted to do was to help. Right? So then that day I decided I need to talk to these ordinary people also. I can't be teaching only veterinarians. I am doing as much as I can. I have taught 3000 veterinarians in last one decade. I am still teaching. Today also I did two surgeries with one vet, taught her some things and I am coming here. But I don't care if there is only one person also over here. I will come and I will teach. If no one is there, I will make a video, I will post it somewhere. Because I feel very sad, a person who knows about this, but I don't want to be the only person to know about this. That would be very sad. I want to let this information spread to the right people. So that, what happened, let's analyze the situation. So that lady didn't know what was the reason of the bite. A lot of times you also go to a rescue injured dog. How do you know what is the reason of the bite, of that wound? Whether it was because of some injury, whether some dog bit, whether some cat bit, whether it got injured, whether it got accident. No one has any idea. Okay, there is a wound, there are maggots, maggot wound we are taking. How do you know where, where that wound came from? You are not in a position to know. So that means you have to take precautions. 
precautions of not getting bitten precautions of not getting scratched precautions of the saliva not coming in contact with body cuts if there are any so how many people are actually taking those precautions very few i see people's the clothes getting dirty everything and they say okay no problem it will dirty yeah but then this is not the way you have to take care of yourself no if you don't take care of yourself only one dog if you take care that is not enough so the rescuers also have to be safe yes or no yeah so for that the rescuer has to be vaccinated he should know how to put a muzzle to a dog he should understand the body language of the dog he should have some basic equipment of catching the dog he should have a team never go alone always he should have a team team of at least two people should be there so that in case if something happens to one person the other person can guide him help him but if you just go alone you are helpless you are not safe no one is there to help you and that's not good so first thing is the rescuers have to be vaccinated they need to understand that the wound could happen because of many several reasons all the rescuers have to understand one thing very clearly they are not authorized to treat by law this is very important no matter how much you want to help no matter how much you want to do good but for some reason if you are not able to judge the condition and you do something your intention was to do something good and something goes wrong if that situation goes vetro legal vetro legal means if it goes to the police or court you are going to be defenseless you are not going to be able to defend yourself all the good will is lost all you wanted to do was help but let me tell you one thing a veterinarian is the person who has been properly trained for addressing these kind of issues these the registered veterinarians are the only persons who should be authorized to treat a wound to decide the medications undergone training in my presence when i tell him to do something and if he does that that is safe because i re take responsibility of his actions i can offer him that safety okay i told him to do is i need help and that's why he is here in my absence if he tries to do the same no matter how good he wanted to do no matter how good his intentions were that becomes illegal even if you technically know what is right so the treatment aspect is something that a veterinarian has to decide without a veterinarian's help you cannot achieve animal welfare so if you are veterinarians you feel that if they if they are not helping we can only request them to help 